In the meantime, I want to stay worried about uh, those in Congress who are willing to shut down the government. Just a few months ago, the Speaker of the House and I agreed to uh, spending levels uh, for the government. We were up right to the very edge, almost uh, reneged on our debt, and uh, that uh, we're going to fund essential priorities and still cut the deficit by $1 trillion over the next decade. Now, a small group of extreme House Republicans, they don't want to live up to that deal, and everyone in America could be faced with uh, 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 paying the price for that. We changed it. We made a deal. We shook hands. We said, this is what we're going to do. And now they're reneging on the deal, which is not much of a surprise these days. And the black community in particular is going to suffer if that occurs. For example, shutdown is going to risk nutrition assistance in only 7 million moms and children. And it's going to disproportionately affect black families. The Department of Housing and Urban Development will have to stop nearly all its enforcement work fighting housing discrimination. EPA would have to stop its important work bringing environmental justice and frontline and fence line communities.